Okay, the scene that I'm uh, showing you now uh, combines various uh, features uh, together inside VisArtist and is utilizing uh, the uh, latest graphics card from NVIDIA, which is the M6000. So we see a huge uh, amount of performance on a scene like this one. So let me show you. We are having here uh, an array of 100 stages of Sophocles. We can see it in the tree, so it's Sophocles 1 to 100. So it's 100 copies of that guy. And uh, we have a huge resolution on uh, Sophocles. Uh, I can, can go close with the camera so we can see we have every detail, we have every wrinkle, we have uh, the spots of the bronze material completely on it. By the way, I'm using a 8K texture on uh, this model. And it's a uh, very high resolution model. As we see, there is no edges. If I switch to wireframe, uh, you can barely can see uh, the wires. Uh, so the scene in combination uh, that I'm using here, as we see, the 100 Sophocles statues are using 20 million vertices. Just to prove, I open uh, the editor and show you. This is 20 million, 292,300 vertices uh, to be exact. So uh, the interesting question is, can we render this in real time? Because we have 100 RTT shaders used here as well. So we are using uh, a bump settings. We're using a normal map uh, for the bump map, which is uh, state of the art. We are using a, a specular map for distributing uh, the uh, light specularity on the surface. And we're using a cubic HDR environment map for the uh, correct, uh, correct environmental reflections over here. And uh, just not to make it enough, uh, I go to camera number one. I'm also using depth of field. So if I press the PP button, I get the post-processing effects uh, drawn over here. So I'm using depth of field as well. So let's see on uh, what performance we can render this uh, uh, scene on a uh, M6000. So if I start the animation and just go to my VGA preview, we can see the animation is running smooth. Uh, we have a current frame rate of 50, a maximum of, at the moment, 98. This will go up to 110, 120, 130, depending on the angle. So we're now on 120, 135, 150, 160. So uh, even 250, 280. Uh, so this shows really uh, what a beast this NVIDIA M6000 is because uh, this scene is almost peanuts to render on the NVIDIA M6000 even with this incredible look and incredible, incredible amount of uh, vertices we're using here.